fish, as you will appreciate, are a key dimension of the whole marine ecosystem. And so having abundant stocks is absolutely essential for other creatures. They simply can't survive. Is it, is it possible to, like, I mean, is there any work that shows that it's possible to easily bring these numbers mass back up to pre-levels, or is or something else moved into the area that takes up the niche, basically, the perfect niche, that they want fish, that, the, that you know, like the cod want? Um, it's really interesting with whaling, actually, because obviously whaling is a fraction of what it used to be. But what they found is actually, because whaling is far less than it was, lots of whale stocks which aren't impacted by other environmental factors that are actually impacted by whaling um, have recovered quite well. But actually, the sort of global whale population makeup is really different to what it was pre-whaling times because things have moved and changed like that so although you have got quite good recovery not of all whale stocks some whale stocks are kind of depleted beyond the point of no return um, but a lot of others have recovered but not in the same makeup um, so I guess that is kind of an example of that I don't know whether there's other fish ones Yes, there is. I mean, the, 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 there's two points. Just to take up the whale one, for example. Now, if you go to the southern ocean, i.e. around Antarctica, the, the principal food source there, uh, particularly for whales, but for, for the other larger uh, animals around there, is krill, which is this tiny shrimp-like creature, which is being heavily uh, fished, heavily is, is a... a bit of a motive term, which I asked not to use, but uh, it is licensed, it's controlled by, by uh, the, the, the authority that regulates it, so it's a licensed fishery, but it's removing out of the food chain the essential resource, food, of, of whales. So you've got to be very careful about that. Um, but if you, the, to go back to fish, if you go to the uh, Newfoundland cod fishery, which used to be the world's largest cod fishery, massive, dwarf the North Sea and, and anywhere like that completely. They went on fishing that, despite scientific advice that they should stop at the fishing at the levels they were. They went on fishing it till the point where the whole stock collapsed. It went over the edge. So this safe biological limit, what is a safe breeding stock, was breached and the stock collapsed. Now what that meant was that when you got just two cod out of every million surviving, that was still the case, but the breeding stock was so small that it couldn't produce enough young fish to regenerate the stock. Because although some of the, the, uh, all, the, the eggs were hatching and becoming fertile and becoming young ju juveniles, they were being eaten by other fish because the sea is a carnivorous world. So they weren't getting that two out of every million survival because other fish were eating them. And, and the breeding stock was insufficient to get above that threshold. And that stock, the Newfoundland stock, has been obliterated ever since. And you've gone into a whole ecological alteration as to the nature of the fishery of, of, of uh, that coast of North America. And that stock's not been able to come back because you, you, you breach the, the ecological terms under which it operates. And that was what the the grave danger that was going to happen with the North Sea stock. They were breaching the same biological limit, and that's why they closed it. It's fortunately sufficiently in time to allow it to rebuild, but it's still at this very depressed level, which will never rise anywhere near historic terms until you address uh, fundamental things like net size, the days at sea that fishermen have, and the other key thing you have to address is where fishermen 
are to actually do their fishing. Now, what would be anyone's suggestion as to where fishermen would go to actually do their fishing? What well, if you were in charge of a vessel, you were the captain, you had to to make a profit on, on that voyage, and you knew you were going, you're going for uh, whatever species it is. Where would be your primary geographic location to go for? What is determining that? Sonar is one, yeah, that's telling you where it is, but why are the fish there where they are? Hmm. Yeah, what, 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 elaborate? Spawning grounds. Spawning grounds, exactly. Now, cod are a migratory fish. But they come together at a specific location every year, they aggregate and all come together as one stock when they spawn. And that is what is being targeted by fishing vessels using the fishing system that's allowed at the moment. So using the large nets, using the large vessels, they are able to really reap a very heavy told, so to speak, in ecological terms, on that fishery. So one of the other things that you have to consider when you put restrictions on fisheries is that you do not fish the spawning grounds. You put those out of limits. And so there's a whole complex network of measures that you can take. Um, I don't want to uh, spend too much longer on this, uh, and you'll find other facts in the, uh, in the notes that I've given you, because I want to move on to two other things before we finish, because I know uh, you've got some films which I'd like to, to show as well, and I'm conscious of where we are against the clock. Now, one of the other factors that is affecting fish stocks, but the general health of the oceans as a whole, and this question of what will the conditions of the oceans be in 2050, is the question raised earlier on, acidification. And so I want to look at that one, because that's very important. And also related to that is pollution in a general sense. And then the other question I want to look at before we finish is marine protected areas i.e. strategies for closing or protecting areas so that you've got management policies of human activity which give the sea a greater chance of being in a healthy condition. 